It's a very special occasion in joining Kelly and Willie in union together. Willie, may we see Kelly and walk her forward, please. Now, Kelly and William, it's been time, but as you both thought of marriage, and you guys are taking a step into marriage together, there was only a few things that I hope would carry along its way with the two of you throughout your journey together. It would be for you both to always be willing from the heart to listen, learn, and to love. And by that I simply mean for you to always be willing to listen to one another. What it is that they have to offer and what makes them feel whole and complete and part of this relationship. Because after all, they just may be the voice of reason. And secondly, is the ability to learn. Always be willing to learn whatever it takes to help the other fulfill every desire, every wish, every dream and goal that they may have. And lastly, but most importantly, is the ability to love, to love one another unconditionally, which means no strings attached. It's an ongoing love. And this is the type of love that I hope the two of you would wish to express to one another each and every day. Keeping in mind, William, that Kelly's happiness will always be far more important than your own. And also, Kelly, that William's happiness will be more important than yours. Because with that in your minds and in your hearts, I have no doubt that your lives together will be everything that you want it to be. Always keeping in mind that the other's best interests will always be at heart. So, sir, I'll ask you first. With your presence here today, alongside Kelly, do you take her in full commitment in promising to love, honor, cherish, and respecting her always, allowing nothing or no one to ever come between the two of you? Do you take her in commitment? I do. Thank you, sir. And Kelly, I'll ask you the same. With your presence here today, alongside William, do you take him in full commitment and promising to love, honor, cherish, and respecting him always, allowing nothing or no one to ever come between the two of you? Thank you. If I could have your bouquet. Okay. The two of you would please turn and face each other and hold each other's hands. And as you look into each other's eyes, you will see the very reason why you are here today, proving that at this moment, there is no one more important than who stands before you. So William, as you look into her eyes, I'll have you repeat your vows. I, William, take you, Kelly. I, William, take you, Kelly. In commitment to me. In commitment to me. I will always be there for you. I will always be there for you. Through the good times and bad times. Through the good times and bad times. Whether we are rich or poor. Whether we are rich or poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. Through laughter and tears. Through laughter and tears. I will love and cherish you. I will love and cherish you. I give you my pledge. I give you my pledge. Thank you, sir. Now, Kelly, as you look into William's eyes, I'll have you repeat your vows. I, Kelly, take you, William. I, Kelly, take you, William. In commitment to in me. In commitment to you. I will always stand beside you. I will always stand beside you. Through success and misfortune. Through success and misfortune. Through the joys and sorrows of life. Through the joys and sorrows of life. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. Through laughter and tears. Through laughter and tears. I will love and cherish you. I will love and cherish you. I give you. My pledge. I give you my pledge. Now these rings will seal this commitment. And they're not only tokens, but symbols of the very love 
and devotion that the two of you are expressing here today. And my hope is that in each and every day with the two of you wearing these rings, may they constantly remind you of that promise and pledge that you have just made to one another. And in time, the rings themselves may lose beauty. But I hope that the two of you would not only value, but take honor in wearing these rings for what they truly represent. And through your friends and family, the beauty will shine through you both. And the two of you will always remain a wonderful example for all. So Willie, I'm taking Kelly's ring. If you could place it upon her ring finger, if you would please repeat. With this ring. With this ring. I seal my promise. I seal my promise. To be faithful and loving to you. To be faithful and loving to you. And I am so honored. And I am so honored. To share my life. To share my life. And daughters. And daughters. Thank you. Kelly. I'm placing the ring upon his ring finger. If you would please repeat. With this ring. With this ring. I seal my promise. I seal my promise. To be faithful and loving to you. To be faithful and loving to you. And I am so honored. And I'm so honored. To share my life. To share my life. And daughters. And my daughters. And at this time, if I could have the two of you step over to the unity candle. As I mentioned before, the two of you have each had separate paths that led you to this very moment. And it's the individual tapers that are representing your individual lives. And in lighting the center candle, you will not only be uniting yourselves, but that of your families as well. So I'll ask you to take a hold of your individual taper, and if you could light the center candle at the same time, which is also symbolizing the creation of a new journey with new memories together. And once lit, if I could have the two of you turn and blow your individual taper. Perfect. And I'll invite you guys back to the front. Now, Kelly and William, if you love someone, you'll be loyal to them no matter what the cost. You will always stand beside them. You will always love and trust them. And you will stand your ground in defending them, no matter what. Now there's a poem I'd like to share with the two of you. And it is in part. And it says, I love you, not only for who you are, but for who I am when I am with you. I love you for taking your hand into my heaped up heart and passing over all of those weak or frivolous things you can't help but see there. But drawing out all of the good and the beautiful, and the radiant things that dwell within me. Now I know the future may hold some ups and downs, but if the two of you would always remember to look back to all the moments, all the memories, and all the reasons that brought the two of you to this very moment. Like I mentioned earlier, I have no doubt that your lives together will be everything that you want it to be. So the first of December, a day that will now mark your anniversary. It certainly has been a joy to be part of this celebration with you both. And with the power vested in me by the state of Nevada, it is my honor and my privilege to now be able to pronounce William and Kelly in commitment. William, you may now kiss Kelly. Now half for first dance.
William and Kelly, happily in love. I'll have the two of you turn and face your photographer. Kelly and Michael, William Michaels. Congratulations. <laughs>